Hello everyone. Nice laptop, right? This is from ASOS. Let's check the model number, which is L Lima 410M, the base model number L410MA. All right, so that is a 13 inch laptop from ASOS. Brilliant in look. And somehow the screen completely shattered, as you can see a lot of bruises there. And today we are about to replace the screen. So we should have some tools to perform this replacement. As you can see, the manual screwdriver, two is a flat opening tool, metal, plastic, and automatic precision screwdriver, which is Philips. All right, so you should have the right replacement. Remember that is 30 pin connector on the left and 13 inch, okay? So that's the one I bought it about 48 pound, if I'm not mistaken. So there are two ways to replace the screen. One of them is uh, the safest way to separate the actual uh, screen panel from the keyboard panel and pull out the front bezel, then take out the broken screen, put the new one back and put the screws back in the hinges. OK, that is a long procedure. I don't want to do that. There is another shortcut way. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you can see the front bezel, there are two screws at the bottom. OK, one of them on the right, another one on the left. So we're going to take out these two screws and then we'll pull the front plastic bezel out and we'll get access into the screen. Pull this off, disconnect the 30 pin connector. So first thing is very important in that way. If you try, you have to make sure your battery is completely discharged to 0% because if you do have any charge in the battery and if you try this process, you might damage the GPU, which would damage the complete motherboard. Okay. So either you can take out the back cover, disconnect the battery manually, and then try this step should help. Okay. But I know I did not charge this laptop for two to three months and I tried to turn on by pressing the power button. It doesn't turn on. So there is zero percent. Anyway, let's start the process. Uh, I'm going to use this precision knife. Take the cover out from the screws left and right. All right, make sure we keep it safe for feature. We, we're gonna put it back. And now let's take the screwdriver, take out these two screws. The manual one is much better, I feel it. And now we're gonna start from the left or right hand side. Okay, this is the second time I'm opening, so it, it seems pretty easy, right? But might be your one if that is first time is going to be a little bit difficult because of the strong anchor bond. OK, so make sure you try gently, slowly. OK, don't try to pull this out too much force. Otherwise, you're going to uh, damage this front plastic bezel. So the bezel taken out. So now I can see the screen doesn't have any screw holes to attach into the place okay and what happened is instead they put strong adhesive behind this screen so there are two strip one at the left another one on the right so what i done is i just heat up a little bit from the back which one i skip in this video you can use hair dryer blow some hot air uh, top of the laptop i mean just behind the screen so that one would soften the actual adhesive and then if you just try with this sort of flat opening tool, you can easily pull this off. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start from the left like this. Gently it takes time. It took about four to five minutes. I had to struggle a lot and then it became so easy. So I'm going to use the plastic one now because this is more safer than any metal tool. And the screen honestly is broken before. So I don't care that much to save it, but if you just opening the screen for something else, for other repair purpose, then I would say be more gentle. Make sure you give it enough time and it should be done. 
So once this one taken out, then we'll disconnect the 30 pin cable display cable. All right. I can see here is the strip on the right and one on the left. And I can see those are quite strong, still reusable. So I'm not going to apply any double sided tape. But if you feel your one already damaged, then you should use double sided tape. Now, gently, we have to peel this 30 pin connector adhesive, 30 pin on the left. So let's take the tweezer, peel this off gently, very carefully in that stage, because if you pull it, if you use too force, you're going to damage it. Yeah. Don't do this. Now I'm going to pull the wire and pull it straight, like sliding from your side to the other direction. That's the actual replacement. I can see it's almost same model. Now we're going to repeat what we've done, which is pretty simple. And remember, don't connect or disconnect this cable unless your battery is fully discharged or manually disconnected. And now let's put it back. Don't forget to peel off this film protector. And before you close the front bezel, make sure you give it a try. You turn on this and check if there is any dead pixel or if there is any quality issues with the pictures, you know. And then if you do have, you don't have to repeat the same job again. You can just replace it easily, okay? Now let's put it back and the job would be done. And still, if you do have any question, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section. And that would be kind of you if you do subscribe to this channel because we can see many views but we don't see that many subscription, you know. By the way, thank you so much for watching. Let's continue with this video and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye for now.